What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute foam roller stretch. So grab a foam roller and let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to your 20 minute foam roller stretch. This is gonna be kind of a tutorial if you've never done much foam rolling before, but also we're just gonna move through those positions as well. So a couple options for your foam rollers. I have all of these linked in the description below and one other one that I used that I actually didn't bring with me today. It's just a plain tall foam roller, full length like this, but the inside of this one as you can see is hollow with the PVC pipe kind of feel. The one that I'll link in the description is just foam all the way through. So it's a lot more gentle if you're just getting into foam rolling, okay? So that's an option. This one would be the next option up. This is a trigger point foam roller. If you can hear the hard plastic inside, it's nice and hollow with just barely any cushion. So that's gonna be your next step up. And then the last one is one that I actually just got. This one is by Hyper Ice. It's a shorter foam roller, but this one actually has some power to it. So if I turn it on, it has a vibration effect. So if you're really looking to step it up, I'll hold this up to my mic if you can hear. That's level one, two, and three. So if you're looking for it to really step up from there, the Hyper Ice Foam Roller is an option for you, but I won't use it today because it might just sound like there's a constant hum going on. So go ahead and sit down with me. We're gonna start on our back and you're gonna line your foam roller up with your spine, okay? So making a nice tall T, okay? So putting the foam roller right at the edge of your back. I want you to align your spine with the foam roller and just come right on top of it, okay? Place your hands up overhead and we're gonna open out to the side in three, two, one. All right, open it up. Nice big chest. Okay, you wanna make sure your tailbone is supported so you're not arching down. Come back to the top and open up overhead. Great job. Come back up to the top, bend your arms, open up to the side again. And this is just a good thoracic spine opener since we're at desks all day or sitting or driving. It's nice to just open it up here. Let's go one more time. Big open. Great work, all right. I'm gonna come back up, and now we're just gonna put that foam roller perpendicular with your spine. Okay, so you're gonna start it right under your shoulder blades, okay? Placing your feet down, you're gonna lift your glutes off the ground. You can support your head with your hands, and we're just gonna go right on our back between your shoulder and your mid-back. Okay, make sure you don't go any lower than mid-back. You just need to stay up top. Options for your arms, you can cross them over your chest, kind of roll side to side. You can open them up over top to the side. Okay, now I want you to find a spot that's a little bit tender. When you find that, I just want you to hold right there. And this is what self-myofascial release really is. It's just putting pressure on certain points that might have a lot of energy or tension in them. Good, stay right there. Breathe in and out. One more time, breathe in and out. And start to move again, great job. There you go. And let's come on over right here where the Foam roller is right under your armpit. I want you to come over and actually put your lat on the foam roller. So roll onto the side of your glute. Okay, this big muscle on your back. I want you to go there and just open and close. Okay, you can roll here wherever you feel it, a little more forward. You'll really feel it. You can roll a little bit more back. But that big muscle on the back that wraps around from your spine, that's what we're giving love to right now. So especially with any of the overhead holds. Okay, find a spot that's tender, hold right there for me. Any of the overhead holds where you feel really tight, like you can't get your arms all the way up, it might be that you have tight lats, okay? Good, hold right there on that tender spot. And Good, we're just gonna switch it right over to the other side. So you can roll over. I'm gonna switch mine down to this end. 
same thing, okay? Find that spot, put it right under your armpit, okay? Roll back towards your back just a little bit. Start here. Okay, feel where it's tight between kind of like your rib and your armpit. Okay, roll back and forth this way too, forward, backward, find where it's tight and hold right there. Great job, might feel a little bit of shaking happening at any point today, that's okay. Good. Three, two, one, and great job. Come on up. That one's kind of a tough one to find, so if you find it there, that's good. You can always use that as well for a mobility tool if you wanna put the edges of your pinky here, okay, and then glide out with it. Pressing your chest down towards the floor. This is another great way to get into your lats in that middle upper back. There you go. So my weight, most of my weight is in my knees right now. Okay, and if you wanna come back up, you can come back here. And then we'll go down pinky edge on the foam roller. One more time, push it out, out, out. Drop your chest down. If you're not getting your chest within a couple inches of the floor, you might have some tight lats which might be prohibiting any overhead holds. There you go, three, two, one, and pull it back in. Great job, we're gonna flip back over, okay? Seated on top of the foam roller to hit the glutes a little bit. Okay, I like to go kind of by way of how the body is connected. You wanna avoid the lower back, so we hit the upper back, not a lot of support here in the lower back, so we're gonna move right down to the glutes. Two feet on the floor. I want you to shift over to one side, okay? Roll forwards and backwards. And you'll feel kind of your tailbone. You don't want to go up that far. You'll feel your sit bone. You don't want to go below that. Just stay right on the meat of your glutes. Great job. Now, if this feels good, you want to step it up a little bit. Take this leg that you're on, cross it over, okay? Just take a little bit of pressure off of the ground and put it onto your glutes. Find a spot that's sore, hold it right there. We're gonna hold for about 15. Good, just stay right here. This one is all about sitting in the discomfort, kind of like you're giving yourself your own massage. Good job, four, three, two, one, great job. All right, let's switch legs or switch cheeks. Keep both your feet on the ground if you would like. If you would like to take this other one up top and just go right into it, you can go ahead. But here we go, other side. And anytime you feel the foam roller going over a bone, you've gone too far, okay? You just wanna keep it on the meaty parts of your body, on your muscles, okay? So you never roll over a joint, like ankles, knees, hips, neck. We just wanna stay on the muscle. Okay, find a spot, keep it right there, and let's hold. Good job, and if you need to take some pressure off, just put your other foot back down, okay? If you can stay right here, we're gonna stay here for 10 more seconds. Pressure on that tender spot, good job. Three, two, one. Great job, all right. Now let's take it down a little bit more, working our way down the body to the hamstrings, okay? Hamstrings and quads, I always want you to start with the foam roller right in between your knee and your hip. Put your hands right behind your back, feet are out straight, you're gonna lift your glutes up, lift your heels, and you're gonna pull and push. Okay, we start here. Keep your toes pointed just straight up in the air for right now. Okay, a little bit of core involvement. You recognize this move a little bit? Going back and bridging, <laughs> okay. A little bit of core involvement, as you can tell. All right, good. Now, if you can, option, stack your left leg on top of your right, putting a lot more pressure on that right leg, okay. If you're not doing that yet, that's totally fine, but let's find a place on the right hamstring where it's sore, tender. Stop right there and just hold.
Good work. Perfect. We've got four, three, two, one. All right, drop your butt down. Give your wrists a rest for just a second. We're gonna switch to the other side. And if you just did both legs, we're just doing one more round of both legs, okay? All right, let's go. Cross the other leg on top. Find the rolling. Get into your groove here for a second. And as soon as you find that spot that's tender, let's hold right here. Good job. And I'm not just trying to inflict pain on you, like find the spot that hurts and stay there. I'm trying to get you to get a little pressure in there with a little bit of manual manipulation. Okay, so sometimes our muscles can just get so tight and then everything around them tightens up, right? You feel it in your joints, but it could be the muscles that are tightening up here. Four, three, two, one. Great job. Both legs down. Let's roll a little bit more. All right. Place your butt down again on the ground and we're going down to the calves, okay? Kind of rest your fingers for a second. <laughs> like to flick the water off. Okay, same kind of thing. We're moving with our hands on the ground, butt up off the ground, pulling back and forth. Option to modify, you take one leg down off to the side and you let it help you hold some of that weight up. Okay, you can do one at a time if you wanna go that way. We're gonna have two rounds of find the tender spot. Okay, so go ahead and find it and you can cross one leg over if you would like some more pressure. Okay, right leg, go ahead and find that tender spot and let's hold right there. Great job. Four, three, two, one. Good, have a seat. Switching over to the other side. If you did one leg, if not, just rest your hands. We're gonna go back to both, okay? Also, don't forget about the part of the calf that is down here between your big calf muscle and your ankle. This is your soleus. Also important to roll that out. So if you can feel some pressure there feeling good, that's also an option, okay? Other side. Here we go, two, one, let's go. Find that spot and just hold right there. We'll flip over to our quads here in a second so you'll get a rest on your arms and your wrists and your shoulders. <laughs> Good job, hold for 10, nine. Three, two, one, Great job, all right. Take it down, take the weight off of your hands and we're gonna start just like on our hamstrings, putting the middle, or putting the foam roller in the middle of your thighs. Okay, so you're laying over top of it now. Elbows are down, you wanna put it here, straighten your legs out. Okay, so your weight is distributed between the foam roller and your elbows. All right, using your arms, you're just gonna pull, don't cross over your knee and push back, don't cross over your hip. Okay, here we go. This one, I want you to play with the angles of your toes. So if you want to point them out a little bit, you'll hit a little bit more vastus medialis. Okay, the inner part of your quad. There you go. Okay, so turn your toes out a little bit, just about 45 degrees. Find a spot that's sore, and I want you to hold right there. Okay, stay here. Good, now try and relax your legs. Try not to be flexing them, holding them up in the air. Let them relax so you get all the pressure on the foam roller. I know it's easy to flex and take some of that pressure off, but just let them fall, dead weight. Seven, six, three, two, one, great job. Now, using your feet, turn your legs just back straight so your toes are pointing to the ground. Okay, now roll again. Great job. One more time, find a spot that's sore, hold right there. Relax, relax, relax. Toes should be pointing straight to the ground on this one. Great job. Good 
good. It's a little shaky, that's okay. You might feel a little bit of heat coming to your legs. That's okay. You got four, three, two more big dip, deep breaths. Two, last one. Great job. All right, now let's roll back. Place your knees on the ground. Walk your hands in. Okay, you're gonna turn your hips towards me now. All right, and I'm gonna come over onto the side of my left leg, okay? We're gonna hit the IT band, the iliotibial connection. Okay, so iliac crest, tibial bone. There's a band that runs all down the side here that is normally pretty tight for everyone. I want you to take your top foot, place it on the ground in front of you. Hands are back here supporting. Just want you to gently, even if you can just get to the point where you're on the side of your leg, try that. Okay, if you can roll, go for it. If you wanna stack them up, add a little more pressure, you go here. Okay, this is tender, so if you're feeling like, holy cow, this is honestly the toughest one, it is for everyone. Okay, the trick to this one is to make sure everything around the IT band is loose, not necessarily the IT band. Okay, you need so, so, so much pressure to make a big impact on just a <laughs> tendon. So we wanna make sure with everything that we're rolling around it, meaning quad and hamstring, you're giving it a chance to relax a little bit. Okay, find a spot and hold if you can. Good, keep rolling back and forth. There we go. Take your time, there's no need to rush. Find one more spot and hold. Good job. I know this one's uncomfortable. I do understand. I'm acting like this doesn't hurt right now. It hurts. <laughs> it's tight. Three, two, one. Good, go ahead and have a seat on your mat. Nice job. Let's just switch it right over to the other side, okay? Okay, so taking your other side, I like to just sit on it first. <laughs> sit on the side glute, okay? Take that top leg, put it out in front. Okay, walk your hands away so this thing is in the middle between your knee and your hip. Hands down, start here. And this is something that will be beneficial every single day. Okay, creating blood flow, loosening up tension, really helps the joints, number one. If you can stack your legs up, go ahead. This really helps your joints. Okay, so if I had some knee pain a couple weeks ago, rolled the crap out of my quads and my hamstrings and just kept doing it each day for a week and accompanying, with, and accompanying it with icing, and my knee hasn't hurt since. It's all about making sure it's something proactive. Instead of reactive and only doing this when you're hurting, do it all the time, just a little bit constantly so you don't have to get to that point where you are hurting. Stop and find a tender spot and hold. I'm a huge advocate for mobility and recovery. It's gotta be a part of your everyday life. You can't just work yourself to the ground and expect to never get hurt, expect to never feel any pain, but work hard and then take care of yourself too. Physically, we're doing right now, but also mentally. Okay, I wanna keep you injury free. I wanna keep you hurt free in any way that I can. So a little bit of work on this each day, it's gonna make a huge difference. Start rolling again. Let's find one more spot here. Maybe rotate back a little and hold. Good job. This one is very tender for me. Hello. Good job. Hold, hold, hold. You've got five, four, three, two, one amazing job, drop your butt down. Whew. Good work. All right, we're almost there, you're doing great. The last couple might hurt a little bit as well, but I'm gonna take you into it tenderly, okay? I'm trying to think of a good angle to do this. We're gonna hit the inner thigh here, okay? So you're gonna drop down to your elbows, put the th uh, foam roller in between your legs, okay? The back leg is straight, this side leg is just gonna create a big T over the foam roller. Okay, ankle off the ground, back and forth. 
And you can adjust here if you need to scoot out a little bit more. Okay, but find it, stay between the joint, so don't cross the knee, don't come up into the hip. Straighten your leg if you can. Great job. And your foot is just flat, like the ankle, your side ankle is holding onto some hot soup on top, okay? Just keep it right there. Great job. Find a spot that's tender, hold there. If you bend your knee, you'll take a little pressure off. If you straighten your leg, obviously the weight is further out, so it'll push down here a little bit more. So pick where you wanna go. Good, all right, let's move it again. Three, two, one, and good job. Let's switch it right over to the other side. Okay, and any of these that are super tender, don't be discouraged. All right, elbows down, legs straight back. Find your groove. Okay, get into it. Don't be discouraged if anything is super tender. Just ease into it. Okay, and I've linked a couple different options of foam rollers in the description, so if you need to dial it back, do that, but also know that you've gotta be consistent and find a spot, hold. Gotta be consistent in taking care of these muscles. You can't just say, uh, I'm too tight, can't do it. I'm really sore, I can't get there. Slowly ease your way into it. Take those modifications, just make sure you do it a little bit each day. Good, all right. Roll it again, last couple seconds here. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, you have made it through. You're foam rolling for the day. Keep using this, all right? Don't stop on the day that you're not watching a live foam rolling video. Keep using this. If you don't have one of these, this is one of the best pre-injury tool ever, okay? Stretching, self-myofascial release, mobility in general. It's gotta be proactive. It has to be done before you get an injury. Of course, you're gonna have rehabilitative work when you get an injury, but my best attempt is keeping you injury free so you don't have to worry about that, okay? One more thing I'll show you before you head out today that uh, physical therapist Dr. Matt Crandall showed me, okay? If you have any tightness in your upper back, traps, neck, you feel a little bit of pain coming down into your shoulders, sometimes because we're here all the time, it's tough to open this up, okay? So this is, I know time has run out, but I just wanna show you one more thing, okay? If you put the top middle part of your shoulder blades on the foam roller, butt is still on the ground, hands are here, and you just open your chin up to the sky, and just stay here. And this can be whatever you wanna do with your arms. This really helps to open up your upper back, okay? So just kind of reversing the position that we're in all day, okay? And putting some pressure here and forcing yourself to really open up, okay? That's something that I do a lot when I find I've been sitting for a long time in the day. So options, hyper ice, trigger point, and then any regular foam roller will do. The height isn't necessarily a determining factor. This one travels well. This one you can cover more surface area on your body, so it's really up to you. But definitely start, okay? I'm a big fan of this, so I hope you got a lot out of this. I hope you learned something today, and hopefully tell me what spot you felt like hit the most on you today in the comments below, okay? Next week, for the live stretches, if you're following this day by day, we will be using a longer resistance band, another tool for me to show you for a pre- uh, or for a proactive approach to mobility. So I'll link all those in the description of this video as well. Share this video with your friends, with your family. And guys, let's keep working hard on our mobility and recovery in order to keep rocking in our workouts, okay? Thanks for spending this time with me today. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and comment below which one you felt the most, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye guys.